Hello Thunderbirds, this is your principal, Dr. Wiseman. I'd like to take an opportunity and welcome you to the 2020-2021 school year. A lot has happened since we last had our kids on campus on March 13th. And I'd like to start off by saying we miss you, but school is not the same without our kids here. As we move through this global pandemic, we had really hoped to be able to open up our doors and have our kids inside our school to start this school year. However, we just simply weren't able to do it in a fashion that would ensure everybody's safety and make sure that they could also have access to a high quality instructional experience. Therefore, we're gonna be opening up with our school year full online. And so I wanna walk you through a little bit about what's gonna happen. But before I do that, I'd like to take a moment to introduce some staff members who are new to our Indian Springs family. First, we have a new administrator on campus. We hired a third administrator. Her name is Erin O'Leary. She is our student success coordinator. I'd like to welcome Jill Hubbarder. Jill lives in Indian Springs and she transferred to us from Ronzoni Elementary School, and she will be our art teacher. I'd like to welcome Caitlin Westgate. Caitlin Westgate will be our new third grade teacher, and she comes to us from Hickey Elementary School. Jim Barnhart is brand new to teaching, and he's gonna be opening up a brand new CTE program in graphic design. I'd like to welcome Adele Jacks. Adele comes to us from Nevada Connections Academy, and will be one of our high school English teachers. Joe Ankeman comes to us as our brand new Spanish teacher, We'd like to welcome Kelly Nixon. Kelly has been with us since March, but most of you have not had a chance to meet her yet. She is our college and career specialist and will be working with our high school students to make sure that they're ready for life once they graduate from high school. We'd like to welcome back Jamie Malloy. Jamie was with us for 21 years and then decided to move to Illinois to be with family, but he realized that being in Indian Springs is a lot better than being on the south side of Chicago. And finally, I'd like to welcome another community member, Lisa Crow, to our family. Lisa is going to be an instructional assistant providing assistance in our elementary school. I know a lot of you have had a lot of uh, trepidation regarding the online experience that we had last spring, and I understand that because it didn't go as smoothly as we want, wanted it to. I'd like to remind everybody that this fall, our distance learning plan will look nothing like what you had last spring. Every teacher is going through a detailed and very thorough training through our new learning management system called Canvas, and we will be conducting school as normal, only online. With this new way of learning digitally, we'd like to remind everybody that come August 24th, school will be in session. Students will be required to be in attendance, and there will be new learning taking place, and assignments that teachers give will be required to be completed for grades. Parents, we'd like to ask for your help and be partners with us in making sure that this distance learning experience goes smoothly. Please make sure that your children are on a regular school routine where they're getting a good night's sleep every night and they're getting three meals a day. Additionally, please make sure that you have a space in your home that is a designated work area for them to use every day while they're conducting their classes online. A lot of parents and students have expressed concerns over the students being on computers or Chromebooks for an extended period of time, and we agree with that. So our period schedules are gonna be broken up. Half of them will be live, and then half of them will be broken up so where students can either work independently or stay online and get assistance from their teachers. Our hope is that students are not stuck to their computer for any more than 30 minutes at a time throughout the school day. Our expectations for students are that we want you to be online for your live classes to the greatest extent possible. 
We understand that some things may happen that may keep you from doing that. For that reason, all live classes will be recorded so that if you do miss your class, you can go back and you can view a recorded class. We'd like to ask all students to make sure that your microphones are turned off when you log on to your class to avoid feedback. However, please make sure you turn them on when your teachers ask you to. And finally, we'd like to make sure that everybody is dressed appropriately for school and uses appropriate language when they're involved in their online classes. Our period schedules have all been emailed out to parents through ParentLink and they've been posted on social media. We're going to be handing out individual student schedules when we hand out our Chromebooks this week. I want to encourage all parents, students, and community members to follow us on our social media platforms because that's been a very good way for us to get information out to you. You can follow us on Facebook, we're the Indian Springs Thunderbirds, or on Twitter or Instagram, we're at T-Bird Territory. Finally, I'd like to encourage every one of you, anytime you have any questions, concerns, comments, or need anything at all, please email me and I promise that I will respond. My email address is wise mbr at nv.ccsd.net. Lastly, I know there's a lot of confusion about how to access curriculum in this online line. The platform that we're going to be using is called Canvas, and our new student success coordinator, Aaron Leary, is now here to show you how to operate and navigate the Canvas system. Thank you, and we can't wait to see you guys. This school year, we will be using the learning management system called Canvas. Students will all have the ability to log into Canvas and see all of their classes. They will also have access to many other online resources. Students will log in to Canvas and their other online resources through a website called Clever. Students will go to clever.ccsd.net. Once they are on that homepage, they will click Log in with Active Directory. Students' username is the portion of their school email before the at sign. For students, that is their first name, period, and then a number. Their password is their full birthday, two-digit month, two-digit day, four-digit year. Once students log in, they will see their Clever desktop. On their Clever desktop, they have access to several different apps and sites that will be used by different teachers. They also have access to Canvas from this desktop. The Canvas icon is a red square. Once students click on that, it will open a new window and students will be able to see their Canvas dashboard and all of their classes for the year. school year, students will be using the learning management system, Canvas, to log in and participate in all of their classes. Parents are also able to have a Canvas account and be able to see their students' courses and progress. There are two steps for parents to set up their own Canvas account. First, you'll have to log in to your student's Canvas to create a pairing code. Once you log in as your student, you will go to Account and then Settings. Once you're in the settings, on the far right side, you will click Pair with Observer. This will create your pairing code. Write this down as you will need this in the next step. Once you have your pairing code, you will go to canvas.ccsd.net. Once here in the login area, click on Parents Get Accounts To. Click here. Then you will enter your name, email, create a password, and this is where you will be asked for your student pairing code. Once you enter all of your information and click Start Participating, you will now have your own Canvas account with access to your students' courses. Thank you, Ms. O'Leary. The last thing that I want to talk to you about is our virtual open house. We cannot have our parents come into school for an open house like we typically do, so we're going to do it online. As you can see on the screen here, we have a web address listed for you to go to. Please go to that web address and once you do, you will see a picture of every staff member on this campus. Simply click on any teacher's name and it will take you to a link that will have a video open house for each individual teacher. 
Thank you. We miss you. Hey, welcome back. Hey everybody, what's going on? <clears throat> this is Mr. Walsh. I want to say welcome back. It's going to be fun. It's going to be different. It's going to be crazy. But we'll all go through this together. See you. Hello, Indian Spring students. Welcome back. Welcome to the new school year, and we sure have missed you. Hopefully we will see you soon. Take care. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Can't wait to see y'all. Welcome back. Hi, my name is Helen. I'm Miss Helen. Welcome back, kids. We are missing you very much, but hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye. Welcome back, t birds Hope you had a great summer. Welcome to the new school year. Hey everybody, Mr. Moody here. Cannot wait to see everybody. I've missed you and welcome back. Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. We have missed you guys so much, and I hope each one of you has a wonderful school year. Welcome to the new school year. Hey guys, Mr. Malloy here. Welcome back. Can't wait to see you. Welcome back. Hello, Thunderbirds. I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to a brand new school year, and let me tell you, without a shadow of a doubt, this you all. Hi kids, welcome back to school. Can't wait to see you next Monday. Welcome back, Thunderbirds. Welcome to the new school year. Welcome back. Hey Indian Spring students, just wanna say welcome back to school. We've missed you so much. Welcome back. Welcome to the new school year. Welcome back. We've missed you. Welcome back. I miss you. Hey Thunderbird, welcome to the new school year. Welcome back, T-Birds. Welcome back, we miss you. Welcome back. Welcome to the new school year. Welcome back, Thunderbirds. Welcome back, T-Birds. Welcome back to school. Bienvenidos nuevamente a la escuela. Welcome back, Thunderbirds. We've missed you. Take, take, take.